While extroverts have a reputation for being total rock stars who make everything look easy, the truth is that they're not perfect. There are many situations in which extroverts struggle to keep up with their introverted friends. And this is something that a lot of people overlook. But there's also no denying the fact that there are situations in which extroverts truly shine. No one is 100% extroverted or introverted, so you'll probably be able to relate to both the strengths and weaknesses of being an extrovert. Working in groups. Starting with strengths, let's begin with an obvious one. Extroverts are great at working in groups. They can bounce ideas off each other, communicate better, and they generally seem to get a lot more done when compared to working alone. Most extroverts will actually try to lure others in to help them work on projects. Talking about their feelings. Most extroverts don't have any problem with opening up and letting everyone know about how much they're feeling. They might even share a little too much information at times. This is another strength because communicating your opinions and problems to others is really important in many situations. Entertaining people. Extroverts are born entertainers. Chances are, most of the class clowns and actors in the world are extremely extroverted, and that's no accident. Extroverted people find it really easy to be the center of attention, performing on stage in front of hundreds of people. This is a great strength because it helps a lot in giving presentations, hosting parties, and many other skills. First impressions. First impressions are so important, and they play a huge role in so many different aspects of our lives. From dating to job interviews, making a good first impression can really help you out in life. And extroverts really seem to excel at this, using their charm and outgoing nature to make a strong first impression. Flirting. Flirting is often a walk in the park for extroverts. People are attracted to confidence. And when it comes to talking and being social, extroverts are very confident in their own abilities. While introverts often struggle to pluck up the courage to even talk to someone they like, extroverts are already making them laugh and fall in love. Being alone. Moving on to weaknesses, let's start with a really obvious one, being alone. There are some extremely extroverted people that simply cannot handle being by themselves. And being in a room by themselves for longer than five minutes drives them completely insane. This can definitely be a disadvantage, as working alone is something we all have to do at some point in our lives. Does this already remind you of someone you know? Dealing with boredom. Another thing extroverts seem to struggle with is boredom. While an introvert can usually entertain themselves with the simplest of things, it takes much more to entertain more extroverted people. Studies have shown that extroverts actually perform worse when they're not being stimulated enough, which is a clear weakness. Talking too much. You've probably been around someone who just couldn't stop talking, and that person was probably an extrovert. Maybe you are that person. Either way, not knowing when to stop talking is a real problem. Extroverts always want to be the center of attention, and sometimes it's hard for them to realize that not everyone wants to hear what they have to say. Being clingy. As everyone knows, one of the worst things to deal with in a relationship is someone who is too clingy. They want to be around you all the time, they refuse to give you any space, and they just seem way too dependent on you. Clinginess is a trait that extroverts often have, and it can be a real problem when they can't switch off that overly social part of their brain. Revealing too much. Sometimes it pays to play your cards close to your chest. While extroverts tend to let everyone in on their secrets, Introverts keep those things under wraps. Revealing too much information can get you in trouble, and it can also make you easy to manipulate. 
If people know how you feel, they can potentially use that against you. Did you enjoy this list? Did it help you learn more about extroverts or yourself? Introverts and extroverts both have their strengths and weaknesses. So if you feel bad about being an introvert or extrovert, don't. Have a good one. Until next time.